So we're going to look at a bit of terminology that's very well known with shafts, but actually is one of the more intricate bits of how shafts perform. So bend profile, the EI curve, however you want to term it. Term it. Um, it's, it's a profile of how the shaft bends under, under a stress from the top of the shaft to the tip and how that pattern of bend affects the way it performs for the player from a ball flight point of view. So we've got uh, going to use very well known brand, the Ventus range. We've got the, the Red series, which is a, a softer profile, softer tip designed around higher launch, higher spin. Uh, and then the Black, which is a stiffer tip, lower launch, lower spin design. So you, the way you'd measure the bend profile of the shaft is, or the way they are measured is, they're kind of clamped and loaded at various amounts of points down the shaft, depending on who's testing them. So you know, anywhere up to hundreds of points along the shaft. Um, and what that gives you is an indication of how stiff each area of the shaft is. And then from that, you can, you can analyze whether, you know, which part of the shaft is doing what, but also create a bit of a picture, a graph of the, that profile. That's the EI profile of the shaft from tip to grip end. So ultimately what you're doing is using the stiffness of the shaft in certain areas to allow it to bend more or less to create different load patterns and flight profiles. So you know, for example, you know, the, the tip of the shaft, the thinnest bit is the softest part. So um, that, the stiffer you make that, the less the head deflects at the very bottom end. And in principle, it takes a little bit of the, the pop at the bottom out, a little bit of the, it doesn't work the center of gravity underneath quite as much and therefore lowers the launch and spin. If you soften the tip end, it allows a little bit more play, a little bit more recovery. And with that, the center of gravity works underneath a bit more in the head and that allows a little bit more flight. Um, the mid and upper sections are really, particularly the grip end is more about how the player loads the handle. So as we transition, as we change direction the swing, some players will put more of a strain. If you've got more of a, if of a quicker change of direction or more of a pull down on the shaft, you're actually going to put more load and stress on the top half of the shaft than someone who's sort of a, a gradual acceleration and a, and a quieter load on it. Um, so you're using the bend profile of the shaft to give the most consistency of bend through the shaft, i.e. if it's stiffer in a, in a better area for that golfer, if the load profile is suitable to the way the player loads the shaft, you're going to get a more consistent deflection and more consistent twisting of that shaft. Um, if you underload that profile, it's going to feel harsh because you're not getting any give, not getting any recovery. Um, and if you overload it, it's going to feel whippy. It's going to feel a little bit soft, a little bit fluid, and it's going to feel loose and out of control. So you can certainly con you can control how much someone will enjoy the experience of using that shaft based on their preferences for a stiffer feel or a softer feel, in particular using the, the mid and upper section of the shaft. And then where that stiffness is, is often then determines where the, the kick point, another phrase in golf we're all using, where's the kick point in the shaft, high, low. Um, so the less move the movement there is at the, at the middle and sort of upper half, you're moving the predominant bend point higher up the shaft. The softer you allow that to be, the more the shaft's going to load and the majority of the bends are going to be lower down after a lower kick point in the shaft. So we're really using these to um, fine tune in the, the feel preference for a player, but also a little bit in the launch and spin as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit a few shots with each. We're going to look at what within one range of shaft in the same weight and flex category of the shaft, what we actually see in terms of flight difference. So I'm going to use the, uh, the Ventus Red first. So, say, so this one's designed around a softer lower half of the shaft. So it's allowing that bottom half of the shaft to take a little bit more movement um, and to, to load and twist a little bit more. Uh, and in theory, creates a little bit more flight. So you, you can factor in things like the, the torque measurement, the torsional stiffness of the shaft goes into these performance characteristics as well. So you tend to find a higher launching shaft will have less resistance to twisting again to allow that head to kick through and create a little bit more flight and then a a a firmer design a kind of lower launch design will tend to be torsion a little bit stiffer it partly feeds into that feel but also the less rotational stiffness um, you have the more the head kicks through and the more spin it is so if you're going lower spin shaft lower flight shaft you're normally going into a lower torque measurement as well so ventus red very much more kind of a design around a mid to upper mid launch and spin shaft so Let's hit a couple with each and we'll see what differences we get. So it's a nice weight for me, this shaft. So it's a very comfortable shaft to swing, um, which is partly why I picked, picked these couple. 
So it's got it in the TSR2 in a nine degree. So a fairly neutral head profile as well. A little lower on the head. We'll get a, we'll get a couple more just to get a good, good overall balance of data. A solid hit. Yeah, so a little bit of draw. I'll do one more there, and then we'll switch them over. Not middled, but not too bad. You can certainly feel a little bit of a little bit of load. It's not a massively soft profile of shaft, so it's not going to feel whippy. Um, but you can definitely feel a little bit of load, a little bit of give through it, uh, a little bit of kick through the tip section. Um, but still, you know, very good material, still structurally a fairly stable shaft. That's why you see a reasonable amount of these on tour as well. Uh, they're even the red, the technically the more mid-spin shaft. That's for a low spin player, it can help to maintain a little bit of flight and spin. So, you know, when you get some with very good technique, they tend to spin a little bit less. So, you know, the players on tour, be it here, men's or ladies tour, um, you're more, almost more likely to see Aventus red in the driver um, than for a lot of for stronger hitting amateurs just because their launch profile and delivery is so good that they often deliver quite a low spin performance. So switching over to the black, so structure a little bit more solid, actually swings just a little heavier towards the tip end, partly slightly stronger materials there, it just puts the balance point a fraction more towards the tip end of the shaft. You know, definitely a tighter feel through the ball. Definitely a little bit of a firmer, firmer feel. That was a little bit healy. So that's where we're seeing you know, that shot. Just a little bit of gearing left to right, but also a little more spin. Let's see if I can find a little closer to the center of the face. Slightly open, a little bit open on the part. You can definitely feel there's not not as much recovery of the shaft from a feel point of view. Um, it almost always encourages the player to give it a little bit more of a hit because it does feel a bit more solid. That felt a little bit of a better hit. Yeah, a little bit of a better strike there. So, and this is where fitting is never an exact science. Um, because if we're looking through the averages, which is just below the below each batch of lines on there. Your club speed slightly higher with the Ventus Red. I've hit a couple more shots, but I think partly a little higher because of that slightly firmer feel to the shaft. It's I feel like I can commit a little bit more. So that's certainly one element to it. You know, you're by using the bend profile, you're tuning into what a player's feel preferences, and therefore a little bit more confidence and, and on average a little bit more speed. But what we're seeing here is that whilst the launch angle is very slightly lower out of the Ventus Black, for that batch of data, I'm actually spinning it slightly more. Uh, however, the tolerance on spins a little bit less. And so you can kind of, there, there are two elements to this. One is that where, the cons where the average spinner launch are, but it's also in the number below that average. So we're looking at the Ventus Black, the average spin rate is 2,924 revs, but the number below that's the tolerance on spin, which is 169. We go to the, uh, to the Ventus Red, and the average spin's 2,647, but the number below that, the 436, is 436 revs tolerance on spin. Now, some of that's a little bit of variation on strike, but, um, but what we can see is that the, the way the shaft's bending for me it's, more it's a more consistent deliver with the Ven delivery with the Ventus Black than it is with the Ventus Red. However, what in theory is a lower spin design, I'm actually not getting a particularly lower spin out of it. And this is where it's so, the, the design elements are, are great and they, they, you know, it depends how the individual player loads the individual shaft. This is why shaft fitting, club fitting is not an exact science. There's a lot of elements where you'd say, okay, well, let's, if we're trying to bring flight down, let's go to the Ventus Black. Um, but for me, actually, it hasn't really made a big difference on that, that flight profile. You know, I've, I've got a, just under a half a degree difference on launch angle, 
but no major reduction on spin. Um, but that's where we said we're, you're tuning in a feel preference and you're tuning in you know, very small fine tunes on ball flight with them. You might find that, you know, say directionally one shaft is a little more consistent because it just swings better. And um, so whilst they're built a certain way, it all roots back to you're using the, the theory principles about a shaft, uh, the materials it's using, where those materials are. Um, and if you're using a shaft with a appropriate bend profile across the length of it, then as we can see from that, you're getting consistency of data out of it. But it doesn't necessarily mean that a technically low launch, low spin shaft is going to take five, 600 revs of spin off versus a higher spin shaft. It's purely down to how that particular player swings and loads each particular shaft. So again, it, it's, it's something that we all talk about a lot within the industry. It's something that we all put a lot of importance on. And whilst it, it is important because it's that consistency element to it, ultimately the shaft and the player have to tune together to create the best results. You can't just pick a shaft based on what it's designed to do and find that it does exactly the same. But finding the right balance of each bit will give you consistency result and a shaft that you're going to enjoy using. So bear that in mind when picking shafts.